Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil, and I've lived aboard my narrowboat on the canal system for over 30 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. Today I'm on the Ashby Canal, I'm just approaching Bridge 22, which is fairly close to Stoke Golding, and in this video we'll be travelling through Stoke Golding, Dadlington, and mooring up just before Bridge 32. So before we go any farther, let's have a look at the map. The trip begins at the yellow marker at the bottom of the map, and finishes at the yellow marker at the top of the map. The trip is through open countryside and we'll be skirting around Stoke Golding and Dadlington. Things get very rural after this point, so there is a small shop and a couple of pubs in, in Stoke Golding, so it's probably a last chance for a while. And for a refreshing change, the sun is actually shining today, although it is quite windy because we've had some uh, pretty fierce storms whilst I was moored here. Over on the right is a small picnic area. That can get quite busy in the summer. It's busy with ducks and geese today. Immediately on the other side of Bridge 22 is a winding hole. There aren't that many of those around on this canal. I need to give the engine a bit more power here because there's quite a strong crosswind. Good moorings here on the left and also a farm shop. I've not been in there so I can't tell you anything about it but it's very close to the canal.
approaching the boatyard now at Stoke Golding. I think they paint boats inside these poly tunnels. If you want diesel or gas or whatever like that, you pull in to the right just before the next bridge. At this time of year there's bound to be lots of hire boats around there. This side of the bridge are some very popular visitor moorings. It gives you good access to Stoke Golding. So let's have a look at the map. We are where the red line is on the left side of the map. Notice there's also another set of visitor moorings at the top of the map and that's on the off side. And in the village itself there's two pubs, a restaurant and a small shop. The post office unfortunately is closed down.
on this side of the bridge. We've got private moorings on the right. And then the canal turns a very sharp left turn. And then the moorings on the right turn into visitor moorings. And from them you can easily access Stoke Golding. Whether or not you'll find a space to moor up is another matter. One word of warning though, it's often pretty windy around here. I'm not exactly sure where the visitor moorings begin, but I think it's round about here, on the right. When I stop around here, I usually moor up here on the left, and if you want to get to the road, you can walk down the canal a little bit, cross over that bridge, and then back up the other side of the canal to get to the road. There's a small tree come down across the towpath in the recent storms. The towpath is very muddy and also there's a lot of thorns from all these hedges. I've got puncture proof tyres in my in my bike and I haven't had a puncture for about three or four years and since I've been on this canal I've had about three or four.
This road bridge leads to Dadlington. There's a pub there, but no shop. It's windy and exposed here. I'm going to moor up just around the corner where there's a fairly pleasant sheltered place. And this, I think, will do. We'll carry on with our trip in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.